my name's Jo. I'm a percussionist and one of the things that I do is I run spoon playing workshops in schools and for festivals and events. So what I thought I'd do is to put together a few little videos throughout June to give you an insight into spoon playing. Um, so this first video is just going to be about the grip and I'm also going to show you a few different pairs of spoons. So these are the spoons that I play quite a lot at the moment. They just came from an antique store and I'll show you how I hold them in a minute. So I had a look in my cutlery drawer to see what else I could find and found these. They work rather well actually. That's those. Um, another pair from my kitchen. These are a little bit shorter here, so I find them a little bit more tricky to hold, but they're okay. And if we're going for the, uh, the base spoons, let's have a go with these. Okay, so these are a little bit big, but they do work. So that's my metal spoons. Now then, I've got some plastic spoons here. These are plastic measuring spoons that I found in a kitchen shop a little while back. Um, so some of you may well have some of these, but I suspect you'll only have one of each size. So they came in a set of four. This is the next size up and they were two bigger than that. So let's see how these sound. Okay, these tend to be some of the favorites when I do my workshops. And I think there are, there are several reasons for that. Um, probably the colour to begin with. Um, secondly, they're actually really gentle on your fingers. So when we talk about the grip in a minute, you'll find out a little bit more about that. But um, you are looking for spoons really that are not too sharp. Okay. I think the other reason why these are favourites is because they've got quite a deep bowl. So you get quite a nice sound from them. So the next size up do work as well. Now because they're an even deeper bowl, I have to hold them right at the back. They do work, they're base spoons as well, aren't they? That's low sound. Okay, um, other spoons. Now these are wooden spoons that have been made specially for playing. I also use these quite a bit. So you can see they're quite flat on the handle here. Um, for their size, they've got quite a deep bowl. Um, so these were made specially for playing. And so are these. Now, if I put these back to back, you can see they've got a little hole to put your finger through. Okay, so these are specially made for playing. Now, just as a contrast, I found these in my kitchen. <laughs> um, now with these, because they're rounded here, they will dig into your fingers a bit more, so they're not going to be as comfortable. Also, because they're flatter here, you're not going to get such a good sound, and they are, they are actually quite difficult to hold. So they might work, but they're not as easy as some of the others. Okay, so also in my workshops, I have some spoons that are joined together. Now these are great. Okay, so these are metal spoons. But they are joined up with a handle. So these are great for anyone who's finding the grip quite tricky. And same with these, similar kind of thing with a wooden handle. You might find a wooden pair. Same kind of thing, joined up. Um, these I got from a company called Knock On Wood. So if you look up knockonwood.co.uk, you might find some of these joined up spoons. Um, if you want to try making your own, that's another option. So these are just two spoons back to back. Um, this might be a job for the adults. So there's a bit of cork in between there, so I had to cut off the top and the bottom to make it flat. So you could put the spoon on the top 
and then put some gaffer tape around. Now I did have to experiment quite a lot to get the gap between the spoons right so that they work. So it was a bit of an experiment to be honest, but they did work eventually. Okay, so that might be another option. So that's just a selection of some of the spoons that I use for my workshops. So let's have a look at the grip. Now there are different ways of gripping the spoon. So I'm gonna show you the way that I use. Uh, it's the way I first learned and I find it works really well, but there are other ways as well. So the way that I hold my spoons is I put them back to back like this. And I'm gonna put my first finger in between. So spoons are back to back, first finger, goes in between the spoons, the thumb is going to go along the top and then I've got three fingers underneath. So I'll come a little bit closer. There we go. So just to reiterate that, the spoons are back to back, first finger is going in between, just past that first little knuckle there, first joint thumb along the top, three fingers underneath. Now what's actually happening here is I'm gripping the top spoon with my thumb and my first finger and I'm gripping the bottom spoon with the other three fingers. Let's try another close up. Okay, now I actually hold the spoons reasonably tight and I find that if I don't, they, they come apart like that. So I do hold quite tight, although you need to be quite relaxed in your playing. All right, so top spoon is held with my thumb, first finger, bottom spoon is held with three fingers. Okay, and I'm holding reasonably tight, but at the same time, I need to be quite relaxed to play. So the next thing is just to make sure that you've got a gap between the spoons. You see that gap there? That's a roughly the size gap you're looking for. Okay. Um, if the gap is too big, so if you've got a bigger gap, you might need to move your hands forwards a little bit, and that should make the gap smaller. Okay. If there's no gap, if the spoons are touching, you might need to move your hand back a little bit to make sure you've got that gap. Now this is um, uh, prime examples with the uh, the big plastic spoons here. So with these, I have to hold them right at the back to make sure I get that gap between the spoons. If I hold them further up, can you see they're touching? So in there. So a lot of this will depend on the size and shape of your hands and the size and shape of the spoons that you're playing. So it's a bit about experimenting. So once you've got their grip, you can try playing on your hand. You can try playing on your legs. If you want to play on different parts of your body, you can do. I'd avoid your head, um, but just be careful. Don't hit too hard. Just be very, very gentle. What we're going to do in the next few videos is I'm going to show you a few different techniques. In the meantime, you could try having a go at playing in between your leg and your hand like this. And we'll carry on from there next time. Brilliant. Thank you very much.